Hey guys, um, it's me again. It's Monday night, and I've decided to just kind of check the alignment on the daily driver, my Fiat Abarth 500, and just wanted to point out something that is extremely, extremely important to keep in mind when you're doing this on your own. Uh, what you see here with the red is these long acre camber plates, and these are a great tool to check your toe. But one of the things that you need to be aware is that these will give you an overall measurement of toe on your car, whether it's toe in or toe out, and not necessarily a measurement per side. So just to prove my point is before I put the car on the setup, I went and uh, strapped on the plates and I took some measurements. I'll show you, show you how this works. And I had an excessive amount of toe. It was an inch and a half toe in. Uh, and this was because I, yesterday, I decided to play with the tie rods uh, arbitrarily without measuring anything, just moving things around kind of by eye. And man, I was way off. So I'm here on the driver's side. I've taken some measurements and this particular side as it sits has a eighth of an inch toe in. So that means that the, the wheels are pointing towards the inside, an eighth of an inch difference between the back of the wheel and the front of the wheel. Um, and the interesting thing is that if you go around the car to this side where I have the long acre care ah, long acre long acre gosh it's so late I'm so tired uh, plates you would expect uh, if this side were correctly set up to not have any toe difference now the way these plates work is you strap a measuring tape uh, along the back and it's kind of dark in here, that's why the, the video is a little fussy. There we go. Uh, and you take a measurement. So in this case, we have from the opposite end of the plate to here, we have 65, 66 inches. And then if I go here on the other side and I look at that measurement, I have 65 and a quarter. So what does that tell me? That tells me that I have a, or an overall toe-in condition of a, of a cumulative or an overall toe, a difference of three quarters of an inch. Now, that is just an overall uh, measurement. I haven't even adjusted this wheel. So typically, if you're not aware that this is just an overall um, measurement, kind of a, kind of giving a, a gauge of kind of giving an understanding of where you're at, uh, you might be inclined to start adjusting both ends arbitrarily, trying to correct that and try to get, let's say, your one eighth overall toe, which is, which is what I'm going for. Um, I'm actually trying to get to one sixteenth per side, which will give me a, a one eighth of an inch toe in, which is uh, will help with a little bit of uh, stability with the car. Um, but anyway, just want to point that out. I'm really happy that uh, my alignment rig is working out quite well. Uh, something that I designed myself and uh, I enjoy doing this so the fun fact is a couple years ago actually many years ago I used to race 10 scale and 8 scale uh, nitro touring cars and I'm pretty versed with I guess suspension geometry and setting it up so I'm kind of happy that everything translates to full scale of cars and um, with me going to the track I think this is an amazing skill to have uh, so I encourage you to do some research on your own and, and try it out. So needless to say, uh, I hope this helps you on how to use these long acre uh, camber plates. Uh, I'm sorry, toe plates. And I keep calling them camber plates the whole time. They're toe plates. I am so sorry. Uh, again, it's very late. Uh, but these toe plates are really great. Uh, and they weren't a whole lot of money. They were just, I think they were $80.00. Uh, or $100 that I paid with these, for these uh, and they come in all different shapes and sizes. One thing that's important when you're looking at these, this particular model, I don't know if, it's, if you can see it against my wheel, is sitting right against the bead of the tire. So that kind of takes a little bit of accuracy away I would say because tires are not even side to side. But again, being that this is just an overall tool, especially for the track, uh, if you go to the track and let's say you go off or you hit a curb kind of bad, you can strap these things on and get an overall measurement and, and just as long as you're within a sixteenth of an inch, you know you're good. Uh, 
I wouldn't rely on these 100% to do an alignment. Uh, maybe you can, I just haven't figured out the workflow. Uh, so I'm okay with them resting on the tires slightly, uh, but there are some models that are a lot more expensive uh, by another company, I, I'll try to put a link below, uh, that actually sit on the actual wheel. Uh, and uh, so it gives, it uses the, the rim as, as, a, as a basis to take the measurement. So anyway, uh, I hope you find this helpful. I'm really excited that I'm actually getting to do this myself on an actual real car. Uh, I think it's working out fantastic. So thank you.